What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. In today's video, we'll look at the classic breaking out of the pentatonic box in three different ways, so let's go. All right, all plugged in and ready to go. For today's video, we'll be in the key of G. So let's check out everywhere we can play a G minor pentatonic. We can play it here. Right, we can play it here. Play it here. Here. As well as here. G minor pentatonic. So let's look at three licks that'll help us break out of this classic box. Let's go. So again, the main idea of this video is to get you out of this that box. So, leg number one is to get you from this G on the third fret of the high E string all the way to this G, tenth fret of the A string. Let's check it out. Leg number one. One more time. Slower. That's cool. You're hitting that fourth, the C, hitting the flat five, landing on the flat three, the B flat, sliding up to the C again. Let's take a look at lick number two now. Lick number two is another cool one. Let's check it out. Again. One more time. Let's check out my favorite one, lick number three now. All right, now the hard one, lick number three, which is basically an extension of lick number two. One more time, slower. One more time. Tonics. One more time. Break 
checking out of the box is fun, man. Check out Robin Ford, he's all over this stuff. So now let's put on some gain and check out these three licks and how they sound. Lick number one. Lick number two. And lick number three. Man, I love pentatonics. All right guys, that's today's video on breaking out of the classic pentatonic box in three different ways. I hope it helped you connect the dots in all the five shapes, because I know when I first learned how to connect the dots, it really helped me, so hopefully it helps you as well. If you enjoyed the video, press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.